What's his body like on a scale from Charles to Terry? Sorry, buddy. What? I'm the 10. Sure you are. Why is this the first time I'm hearing about her? Or that you go to the gym, Jake. Avoid the weights. Nobody wants you turning into another Terry. Ugh. Hey, people like the way that I look. Sure they do, big guy. Good morning, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Sarge, what are the chances? I say zero. Oh, I mean, when Genevieve got me these suspenders, I thought I'd lean into it and go for the whole look, but I didn't want to step on your toes. That being said, you know what this means. Don't do this, Charles. Oh, it's already done. Gather around, y'all. It's time to play Who Wore It Best. I'd really rather not. Because you're a little chicken? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Terry. Terry. What? Come on! If you're watching this, something bad has happened to me. But I want you to know that I love you very much. You want to stop filming yourself and help me with these mini items I'm carrying? Sorry, I was making a video for my son. You know, in case I never see him again. Do you not do that for your kids? Of course I do. <laughs> I make those kind of videos all the time. Huh. You know, in fact, I was about to do one right now. <laughs> hey, girls, it's me, Daddy. If you're seeing this, I'm dead. But I want you to know that I love you now and forever. OK, time for a lullaby sung in your native Latvian. Legal, legal, legal. Yeah, yeah, lullaby time. Look, go to sleep, Daddy's dead. But his ghost always watching. What the hell are you guys doing? Captain Hold, I need to. What's going on? My doctor said I should be more active, but my squash club recently transitioned to racquetball. Since I'm not a dope smoking hooligan, I decided to quit. Boyle is teaching me yoga. Genevieve got me into it. You can't believe how many different ways I can wrap my legs around her. Six. Captain, if you wanted to be healthier, why not come to me? I'm ripped as hell. Sarge, health is about flexibility and peace of mind and bone strength. Not building vanity muscles. Vanity muscles? I use all of these. Really? Even the large neck ones? They help me sleep upright on airplanes. Well, there's no reason to be defensive. Just because you don't have the bone strength of a yogi, we all have our thing. You're a muscler, I'm a boner. Terry can do yoga. Terry is a yoga beast. Watch. Give me a yoga to do. Uh, well, we're in warrior pose now, but I suppose for you we can start in child's pose. Terry is not a child. Terry is a warrior. <laughs> That didn't sound good. Are you okay, Jeffords? I'm fine. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to walk out of here normally using my trademark tiny steps. Okay. So, uh, you already moved the twins onto a booster seat, huh? Are they a little young for that? They're four. Nikolaj is four, but we're sticking with the car seat as long as possible. But you know me, I'm a safety at all costs kind of dad. Mm -hmm. I know just who to pitch this to. My buddy who invented muscle malt. This is great. <laughs> we're the perfect partners. When it comes to cooking, you got me. When it comes to being ripped, you also have me. And you have a little connection, we're going to be rich. <laughs> Scully, it's our favorite time of year. Cagney and Lacey's annual school candy drive. I took the liberty of duplicating your order from last year. Simply sign it to X and I'll get it placed for you. Oh, about that. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything from you this year. What? But we've been in business together since pre-K. I know, but there's someone else. Someone else? It's not you. It's me. My taste in candy changed. Look, everyone goes through rough patches, but we can't give up. You owe it to Cagney and Lacey. Please don't bring the kids into this. The kids are part of it whether you like it or not. Who are you buying from? Tell me, now! The other man, it's me. Nikolaj is selling candy this year, too. You were cheating on me with Boyle? Wake up, wake up, wake up, 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 come on. What's going on? Captain Holt, I know you've given up on your future, but I haven't. You're going to that interview. It's too late, Peralta. Just put a sock in it, man. I'm doing this because of how much I care about you, so just stay the hell out of the way. But we're too late to drive, and there's no available flights. That's what I thought, but on the way here, we passed the town of Jacksboro. I knew I recognized it from somewhere. Where? Sorry, are you monologuing, or is this a call and response thing? No, that was great. Oh. Now, I order a lot of beef jerky online because I'm a cool guy with cool interests, and it's always shipped from Jacksboro, Texas. There's a huge fulfillment center there. There is? Yes, Charles. I called them, and they ship their packages out of a regional airport. They do? That's too much. Maybe back off a little bit. Passenger planes don't fly out of Jacksboro, but thing planes do. You mean cargo planes? Yes, thank you. Terry gets interject? Ha! 
Look. Her desk, I told you, is empty. She's right over there burning stuff. I'm just saging, trying to clear this place of my energy. Why? Cold feet. No. No one's paying me for my vibes anymore. I'm not trying to give them away for free. Oh, my god. I know what's going on. Gina, you're having second thoughts. You have cold feet. I figured it out. Jake, for the win. There you go. Come on, man. Sarge, I need to go to the bathroom. We just stopped for gas. I asked you if you had to go. I didn't have to then. So does this van have side impact airbags? Not in the back. Oh. Interesting. No judgment here. Sarge, I had to pee now, too. Uh, seriously? You, DF? Look, I'll turn off at the next exit, OK? I have to pee really badly. Hot. God, oh, stop it. Guys, enough! Sarge. Yeah, I know. You got to pee. I got it. No, brake lights. Oh, sorry. Ah! Everyone, hang on. There's no side impact airbags. Or was it a stroke of brilliance? What are you talking about? Look, you're a good actor. You could even be a great one. But you're too gentle. Life hasn't kicked you around enough. I mean, I grew up poor, and my father was emotionally abusive. It's not enough. You needed to be rejected by me, a man you admire so much. What? Oh. Oh, my God. Did you carry us up here like suitcases? No, man. This is real life. I rolled you in on the cart. Boo! Terry sucks! Terry sucks! Terry's great. Terry's great. Oh, who could take a sunrise? Sprinkle it with dew. <laughs> Cover it in chocolate and a miracle or two. The Candyman can. Wow. So you just gonna do your business all out in the open like some common candy hoe. You're just jealous. Boyle, where's my candy? What? The box is full of sand. Or maybe it's sugar. Oh, it's not sugar, it's sand. This is some sort of sick joke. There was candy in there earlier. Maybe it fell out. I don't want excuses, bitch. I want my candy. The vending machine is broken, and you're my only snack source. He doesn't have to be. I still have your purchase order. You, you did this. Please, I would never do something that childish. And you would know that if you weren't a big, stinky dum-dum who smelled like butts. No, okay. I'm going to the world premiere of Quazy Cupcakes. The movie. Whoa, how'd you get the invite? My buddy Mikey J hooked me up. Oh, your scar friend? Did he work on the movie? No, he submitted an unsolicited script that a producer accidentally opened, so legally they had to give him a story by credit. And now I've got four tickets. Wow. So who you bringing? You know, Cagney and Lacey love crazy cupcakes. They are crazy, crazy fans. Huh. Cool. Well, if you guys are free this Saturday... Stop. Before you say anything you regret, you should know that Crazy Cupcakes means a lot to Nikolaj. At the orphanage, that game was his only friend. Touching. But Cagney and Lacey don't have any friends at all. Maybe they can make some at this event. So what do you say, Jake? Whose kids do you like more? What? Wait, wait, wait. That's not what this is about. No, Boyle's right. Whose kids do you like more? Tell us now. OK, you guys are being really intense. I like all of your kids an equal amount. Just give me some space, and I'll figure out who I'm going to take. OK, backing off. Stepping away. Thank you, room. Letting you breathe. Thank you. Did you both just send me pictures of your kids crying? No. All this paperwork is going to straight up kill me. How are you so chipper? Oh, simple. I had a cacao nib every time I close a case. A what? A cacao nib. <laughs> They're these happy little chocolatey delights from deep in the Peruvian rainforest. Now try one. Do I look like a man who snacks? You look like eight circles with suspenders on. <sighs> I'm fine. See? You can't have felt that one well for you. It's OK, Sarge. Just admit you can't handle yoga. I can handle it fine. I'm just a little sore from my real workouts with weights. Now, I've got work to do. Why are you in here? I'm hiding from Hitchcock and Scully. I can't take any more. They got into a meatball fight at breakfast. They win. The bullpen is theirs. No way, Papa Bear. When Nikolaj and his best friend fight, I have them do an activity together, like a puppy puzzle. Makes them cooperate. So are you saying we give Hitchcock and Scully a case and make them work it together? No, no, no. We give them a puppy puzzle. Now let's go to town on them, daddy style. All right, I need you guys to assemble this jigsaw puzzle for a case I'm working on. Why do we have to do it together? Yeah. Uh, cuz? Can't argue with that. Cooperation instead of punishment. Damn, Boyle, that is some advanced level parenting right there. I learned from the best. Thank you. Loyal life from Gilmore Girls. OK. I guess being a daddy just comes naturally to me. My nemesis. Your nemesis is a horse? Are you still mad at Peanut Butter because he won a medal the same day as you? He totally upstaged me. He tooted me. Look what you get if you do an image search of Charles Boyle, Medal of Valor. Huh? They cropped me out of my own photo. You just keep that tab open on your phone all the time? 
No, I just looked it up real fast. He didn't say. Captain, I solved it. Charles kidnapped peanut butter. Ha ha, I did not. But it's no surprise that somebody did. Hey, my kids love that horse. Your kids need help wiping their butts, Sarge. They're not exactly geniuses. What the hell, man? I was just getting started. And yet it felt like forever. You were playing at Alfonso, not with Alfonso. What are you doing right now, Sarge? Listening to you? Yes, listening. But humans do 95% of the time, and Tyrone does, apparently, none of the time. I want you to go back in there and listen. Can you do that for me? Yeah, okay, jeez. I mean, you know, look, take the note about Tyrone or don't. What do I know? But also, I created him. Hey. McAllister, your lawyer has more questions for you. What? Why were you doing that? You said I should listen. Well, listening doesn't always mean being quiet. Sometimes the only way to listen is to say something. I'm listening to you right now. Do you see how I listen? This is me listening. You're pissing me off, Boyle. Ah, and he's back. Hold on to that aggression. Yeah, go, 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 go. What are you looking at? McAllister. Terry, 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 I need you to help me see what I'm not seeing. Why can't you do this? You're giving me too many notes! Okay, well then I can boil it down for you into one note. Tyrone is an ocean. I don't know what that means. It means I want you to be tough but vulnerable, brave but scared, jittery but perfectly still. Also, pace it up a little. Come on, buddy, you got this. Man, these stupid cops won't leave me alone. What the hell? They think I'm a snitch. Not me. I gotta have. McAllister, I need to talk to no. you. No! Excuse me? I don't want any more notes. I've gone undercover before. Now just back off and let me do this. Come with me, friend. I have exactly what you need. Bone broth. It's an old Boyle family recipe. I drink it after every workout, and I'm never sore. Well, I don't think we're maxing out at the same weight at the gym. Oh, Terry, they're just numbers. You'll get there. Why don't you just take back the money you gave to Terry and split it six ways, and at least everyone gets something. Yeah, but Terry needs the money. For what? Uh, for butt enhancement surgery. Smart. That's a real problem area for Terry. Yeah. What? What? I am not having butt enhancement surgery, nor do I need it. Sugar, uh, 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 uh. Oh, Scully, Scully, uh, 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 uh. You are my candy friend. Boring. No costume change much? What the heck? This isn't my order. What, did they give you sour straws instead of sour ropes? I specifically no, said... No, it's just apples. Terry, you sick son of a bitch. I didn't do it. Boil must have. I would never do that. This is just what happens when you order candy from a candy child and not a candy man. I'll show you a candy man. Hey, what the hell? Oh, you picked the wrong guy to get in an apple fight with. Why is that? Because I was MVP of my fast-pitch softball summer camp. Wow, I'm so scared. Go! Ow. I felt bad about folding your quarter in half, so I got you a new one. Yeah, thank you. But that's not a quarter. Wow, you're right. That happens to be an 1883 Carson City silver dollar near mint condition, complete with commemorative case. That's got to be worth $138. You know what? Keep it. Shame. Shame, Terrence Shepard. Shame. You probably didn't realize this, Jake, but the lieutenant over here is trying to bribe you. Yeah, I don't think he's hiding that. I am not. Well, neither am I. Here's a check for $200. Another silver dollar. Ooh, looks like I'm up to $276. Well, here's a second check for $77. I am up $1. Four more. How many silver dollars do you have? As many as it takes. Well, this checkbook is only on 304, so I can write checks all day long. Well, well here's my watch. Yeah, melt this down. Right, enough! I'm tired of being stuck in the middle of this. You figure out who gets the tickets and tell me. Should keep it busy for a little while. Hey, Jake, we've decided how to settle this. We're gonna duke it out in the ring. What? Damn it, Boyle! You left the fridge open. The door couldn't shut because of your empty pizza box. Pizza, please. This is a butternut squash and truffle butter flatbread. Everything's spoiled. My lunch is ruined. My chicken, my potatoes, my pasta, my meatballs, ham, my yogurt. Oh, it's a lot of yogurt. I love yogurt. So this is your lunch for, like, the month? I need to eat 10,000 calories a day to maintain muscle mass. My wife made me all of this before she left town with the kids. That was everything in my fridge. I found out why Gina lied about the non-disclosure agreement. Because of how invasive and crazy you are? Oh, Terry, you gullible little rube. It's because of which cousin it is. That's right. I found out which Boyle seed did the deed. No. The father is Milton. Who's Milton? We're not a part of your family. He's a total loser. 
I mean, of all the boils to bang, why bang Milton Boyle? He's that bad? He's that bad? Wow, Terry, you are a rube. Milton's a troll. Jake, where's Jake? Did you eat him, Terry? No! Hi, Jake, it's me, Nikolaj. Hey, bud, what are you doing here? It's Thursday. Shouldn't you be a tailor in class? I want to say thank you. Dad said that you were giving us tickets to the Quasi Cupcakes movie. Oh, he did, did he? Excuse me one second. Of all the twisted moves. Don't hate the player. Go ahead, tell Nico he's not going. I dare you. <laughs> hey, listen. <clears throat> Nico, there's something I got to tell you. I'm Uncle Jake! Uncle Jake! Slow down, girls. No need to run. Uncle Jake is family. Now, what do you want to say to Uncle Jake? Thank you for the tickets. Oh, that's so cute how you said that at the same time without rehearsing it in the car. <laughs> it sure is. We get her to visit prison. They make you leave your phone in your car. I wanted to record Jake for the podcast, but they said I couldn't. I had to have Terry on as a guest. I gave up my Saturday for that. You said I did great. I'm the host. I have to say that. OK, Sarge, lift up the super heavy thing that no one else is strong enough to lift. <laughs> nice, Sarge. Lifting heavy stuff like that, and maybe you'll work off some of that bulk, huh? What? Hey, Lieutenant, I think we should talk. How you doing? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Sir, I want to apologize. <laughs> Look, I have no idea what you're saying. Look, I know the Union set us up, but we let it happen. Your friendship means the world to me, and I would hate for it to be destroyed by a competition to sell more candy. Me too. You guys are selling candy? There's nothing good here. Could one of you ship to Brazil? <laughs> oh! You sneaky son of a bitch! Hey, Charles, can we talk in the briefing room for a sec? There's a question I gotta ask you. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Jake is gonna pop the question. He's gonna ask me to be his BM. No. BM, best man, is a common abbreviation. No one but you has ever used it. I am so relieved. I thought maybe he was gonna ask one of Amy's brothers or ugh, Sarge. Hey, man, come on. Charles! Okay, so I know this is a lot to ask. No, it's not. I want to do it. You want to cover my shift this weekend so I can go to the White Plains Mall and meet Daryl Strawberry at the opening of a cell phone store? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. Great. Thanks. You sure it's okay? Mm-hmm. 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 Very happy about it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, look at my smile. <laughs> I have to go now. Oh, my God! Jake! What do you say, bud? Will you be my BM? Yes! Yes, a million times yes! In your face, Terry! What? I'm holding a sparkler for you. I helped organize a lot of this. We well, could stick that sparkler up your butt. I'm the best man! I can handle this. Charles, there's no way you can lift me. Yoga's given me great bone strength, Terry. So, get ready. You're about to enter the bone zone. Not a thing. Shh. No lifters up where we Squad, I think I'm on to something. I was listening to an episode of Boyle's podcast. Not the one Terry was on, I hope. No, of course not. That one was problematic. What did I do that was so wrong? Charles, why did you let Terry choose boxing? He didn't. I picked it. But you'll die. Don't worry about it. Boxing's in my blood. My Nana Boyle boxed in the Navy. I am sure she did, but, and hear me out, what if you're not as strong as your Nana Boyle? I can handle myself. She taught me her signature punch, the strawberry basket. That does not reassure me. Hey there, big guy. You sure you're feeling okay about ending Charles's life? Yep, yeah, my girls are gonna see this movie. Right. Well, before you commit manslaughter, I do feel compelled to tell you that the movie only has 38 on Rotten Tomatoes. Jake, stop yapping and let him fight. I wanna see the big guy pop the little guy's head off. Yeah, let's start the fight. I wanna pop that little guy's head off. You're clearly the little guy. <laughs> Good one, Jake. All right. I guess this is happening. Touch gloves. Charles, it's been very nice being your friend. Terry, I'll visit you in prison. And fight! Strawberry basket! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! If you mess with Grandma, you're gonna get the basket. Charles, you punched him in the nards. Yeah, Nana fought nasty. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like those tickets. I didn't hear no bell! <laughs> Jake, I think those tickets are mine. Strawberry basket! Oh! <laughs> Wait, if you were gonna use Diaz the whole time, why didn't you just tell us that? Because you two would have given it away with your terrible acting. No offense, but I can read every emotion you're feeling on your face. Can you read this one? Actually, yes. You're trying to be tough, 
But inside, you're super impressed by what I've accomplished today. Damn, you're right. You're good. I'm glad you're sticking around. I'm gonna be depending on you a lot. You got it, Captain, for diet and exercise tips. What? No. To solve cases. My body's fine. Nice. It's a very healthy attitude. <laughs>